So, hello everybody here. Um, I am, again, on just day two now of learning the art of electronics. We are going to talk now about the project that it gave at the end. And let's look at this. We got a, well, first let's go. So it said that uh, 60 hertz and below must be mostly blocked. 2 kilohertz and 20 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz is the ideal signal zone. And then I said, well, FPV of 1 kilohertz should be an appropriate target. Um, yeah, and then on my paper notes, which I could scan if anybody's interested, but it bou I bounced around a lot because I had chosen one and then it wasn't very good. And then but eventually I got to 720 hertz. Adds the good amount, or the F3B that I found was pretty good. So that was C1 as 0.1 microfarads, and then R1 as 2.2 kilo ohms. As you can see here, we have the function, wave function generator W1 and on the analog discovery 3, ground, channel 1, and channel 1 again. So now we can go and let's look at the results, the circuit, and the output in the analog discovery tree. Here's the actual circuit of it. And I did do quite a lot of other work. So let's see, there you can see a whole couple pages. Um, where I had worked out which one I should use. We might uh, get, you might get to see me do some of that now for the low pass one. But first, let me show that the high pass one works. So as I was saying, this is the 720 hertz. That's what I have calculated to be F3D. It should be 70% attenuated at this point. So we can walk, I would say, yeah, I would say that is very close to 70%. Let's go. We want to, in particular, block 60 hertz, right? Let's just type in six zeros here. Now it's getting a bit wacky. We need to change the base again. Let it figure things out. Let's okay. now we stopped it. Um, you can see it is very much attenuated. Right here, no, I wouldn't even get there. I think it would be like point one or so. So more than 10% attenuate or like now i will show you that it does allow these get to get past the 2 kilohertz and the 20 kilohertz we have to change this again so you see that's like over 90% um getting through it is a bit shifted but it is getting through our signals get through fine. Let's look at the 20 kilohertz. You can see it's almost perfect, like it's not even shifted all that much. It's my bad, I was being silly. Well, there it is shifted a little bit, but not. So as you see here, we are talking about the low pass uh, configuration now. So 60 hertz is going to be our primary signal. We want to block 10 kilohertz. It is considered the noise. I found that the same components worked, but just switched them around. This is the wave function. So 
wave generator number one on the analog discovery three this is the ground connection on the analog discovery three and then plus one of the channel one of analog discovery three and minus one of the channel one of analog discovery three so all the connections i'm gonna leave it as the same but now we will do the low pass design uh just swapping them these two current ones so the 2.2 .2 kilo ohm one and the 0 0.1 microfarad would actually work so let's just swap their places so now let's turn the function generator back on the function generator let's just stop this this is at 10 kilohertz yeah, so it is, no, that would be right, yeah, because we are trying to attenuate the higher frequencies. So we can see here, I would say that it's also more than 10% attenuated. So let's go over to here, our wave gen, and we're just going to type in 60 here. And now, since that's such a big one, we have to change it there. Now, we can see that its signals base could be completely light. 